Today we'll be looking at what an indentation error is and how we can solve that in Python. So if you are new to Python, you might have run into this that you're running a script and it just says indentation error and you don't know what to do. And the first thing we need to do is understand what is an indentation error. And the best way to describe this is to show you a line of code in Python. For example, if you have a for loop that says for i in range 10, and this will just print something 10 times, or it will loop something 10 times, you're going to notice that the next line is going to be indented. And that's because Python is a language that defines the blocks of code by indents. In other programming languages, you would have parentheses, and the code would go inside there. But in Python, it's important that you have this indent. So if we go ahead and print, let's say, hello world here, and run the program, it will print it 10 times but we cannot do that by placing it over here. It's not going to understand where the block starts. So if we use it, it's going to say indentation error. And this applies for everything in Python. You might even have something that says print. And if we duplicate this and place it right under and we indent it one more time, we're going to get another indentation error because there's no reason to have another block here. And the program doesn't even understand what it is. It's going to give you unexpected indent. So the way to solve this is to make sure you put it in the right line or the right block of code so that now when we run this, we'll get 20 hello worlds. And this applies for everything you do. Even if you create a function that says hello, for example, and you go ahead and print hello, and let's get rid of the other one, you'll notice that it has to be indented for it to work. So if we do that, it will work perfectly. But if we indent this here, it's not going to understand why we put an indent there and it's not going to be able to use it. Even if we do it like this, it's just unnecessary code for the compiler and it will not understand it. And once again, to fix this, we just put everything on the right indent. And when we rerun the program, it's going to fix the indentation error and allow us to use our program the way it was supposed to be used.